Did you see this one coming? I really wish I could have seen the future for this one because I, I would have not paid $24 to watch it. <laughs> hmm. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into Madam Web. Man, I really did not know what I was getting myself into when I sat down to watch this movie. It was something. It was definitely something. I wasn't sure if I was going to check it out or not, but after hearing all the discourse online about it and seeing that people were maybe not huge fans of it, I thought, you know what? I kind of want to check it out for myself and see what the deal is with this movie, especially because I am a big fan of a lot of the actors in this cast. I did have high hopes for this one before it was released, before I really knew anything about it. I wanted this movie to do well. I'm definitely like sentimentally attached to some actors like Sydney Sweeney, because back in the day when I was in casting, we helped get her one of her first big roles. So, you know, you want to see actors that you're attached to do really well. And I also do love a lot of the other actors in this movie. So I wanted it to go well. So I went on into this movie with an open mind and trying to be optimistic, but um, it was painful. <laughs> it was painful. So I hope you enjoy this reaction to one of the worst superhero movies I think I've ever seen. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Madam Web. Not like that. Starting in the jungle? Oh, yep. <laughs> I just heard a monkey, so. Or an ape. No, a monkey. <laughs> Do you think we're close? Close. Are they looking for spiders or something else? I agreed to provide security for you because I thought you were close to finding this. Oh, it is a spider they're looking for. Well, it'll be worth the wait. She's pregnant! Basically, they supercharge their cellular structure. She gonna get bit and then her baby's gonna have superpowers? I'm our, is that what's going on? These little spiders have the potential to cure hundreds of diseases. Could, ah! She really shouldn't be traveling. She looks like she's pretty much in the third trimester. Like, I don't know if coming to the Amazonian rainforest was a good idea, ma'am. What's he doing? He looks spooky. You may, you're doing some evil decisions. The music is kind of creepy. You look suspicious. I didn't mean to say spooky. I meant suspicious. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Wow. Incredible. Oh, wow. He's going to take... <laughs> oh, he's evil, evil. No, no, we could help so many people. I'm not interested in helping people. Clearly, when he killed the other people, I don't think he really cares. You could just walk away! <laughs> Did he just shoot her? Wow, she really holding on to that spider for dear life. That spider's mad. Oh, spider people! There's spider people in the trees! They're gonna save her or save the baby. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna save her. Oh my god. One of us. One of us. The ba The baby was born? She will come back when she needs answers. Kim, come back? I will be here for her. Huh? What about is the mom dying? She will come back. What, we're not going to raise her? What are you... Huh? She did die, huh? Oh, just before she could touch her daughter's hand? Come on! Yeah, that is her. All right, that's pretty obvious. Somehow she ended up in New York, but they just shipped the baby off to New York City. I don't know why we don't just raise her in the Amazon. I'm glad I caught you before you headed back out. She's going to be okay. Who? The... <laughs> Your, uh... Patient. She didn't even care. She's like, we just drove her here. <laughs> oh. Uh, um, you know what? Mr. Ben Parker here did all the work, so. Just take it. Just take it. Oh my God, she hates kids, huh? That's, you, I mean. Thanks, buddy. You, oh my God, she's really bad at that. What am I supposed to do with this? Girl, just. Put it in your. Oh my God, pretend like you care about it. And the, yeah, exactly. Throw it away in a different building. That is the most over-the-top milk jug I've ever seen. Just milk. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a milk carton like that. My partner, Ben, is going to help you out on that side, okay? Three, two, one. What's creaking? All right, Robert. I don't like creaky noises like that. 
Is she gonna fall in the car? Get it! And the door just closes. She'll be fine. Don't worry. She has superpowers somehow that are gonna be activated any minute now. Was she seeing things in like slow motion? It all, it all looks like a web. <laughs> She's having a full on trip. Use the web. H how is she hearing that? Yeah. You can change the future. No, oh my God. Please, come on. <laughs> You're okay. He, he leapt in after her. 79 over 55. You oh. need a real workup at a real hospital. Yeah, she was hearing lines that were coming in the future. It's kind of what I thought. Jump back in the water anytime. <laughs> 79 over 55. Oh, it's gonna be like a Groundhog Day kind of movie. Are you okay? What the hell happened down there? Fine. I'm just, I just wanna go home and watch Idol. Okay. She wants to go home and watch Idol after the day she just had. I just wanna forget this ever happened. Don't worry. Oh, this guy, he's still alive. Okay, the villain. He having nightmares, like he feels bad or something? They took my spider. Oh, he's seeing the future now too. What, was he bit? Man, we don't even need to watch the whole movie to see, to see what's gonna happen. We can just get flash forwards of the whole thing. <sighs> bad dream? It's not a dream. I'm gonna be murdered one day. Oh, wow, that's a buzzkill. <laughs> yeah. I will find them and kill them first. Oh, oh, okay. This is about the point where I'd be. So you know who did it? I'm, I mean. This woman doesn't seem phased by this man's behavior. I would be like, okay, well that's my cue to go. There have been technological advances. New ways to find people if you know their faces. Uh-huh. The kind of technology I've heard the National Security Agency has been pursuing. Oh, she with the National Security Agency or something? Is that why you got her here? Now she's gonna wanna leave, even though I was getting the vibes to leave, like, immediately? <laughs> yeah, he's definitely taking some spidey venom. Tell me quickly before the paralysis reaches your lips, and I'll stop the poison. I don't think he can stop the poison. I bet it's too late for her anyway, but she's gonna tell him. Three, seven, five. Dude, if you have a job like this, working for the national security, yeah, she's he's gonna let her die. Yeah, babe, sorry. It's a good thing you had no idea today was the day you were going to die. If you work for the national security administration, wouldn't you like not just go home with random men like this? Especially with your work stuff on you? Kind of dumb, in my opinion. <laughs> This place has always been a death trap. Come on, this way. Get her out. Come on. Otherwise stable. Everything's starting all over. With explosives. Industrial <laughs> fireworks. This, place always this is like multiple reality. What's going on? Will you just let me drive? Look, you had a bad experience on the job. He's gonna die. Don't let it mess with your head. He's gonna die. Taxi, fine. He's gonna die. Right there. Right there. Oh my god, it was so fast too. That was like, that was comical, guys. It's supposed to be like horrifying and tragic, but that was just so silly the way it happened. Oh my god, and the shattered glass looks like a web too. O'Neal, come on. Oh, and then now she's seeing that she's helping him now, yeah, with the bloody hands, yeah. Man, he went out quick. He's already dead. Come on, Ben, help Cassie, me. Cassie, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Ben is already pulling her away. Like, no, he's dead. Trust me. I don't even need to check. He's dead. I didn't know we'd be targeting teenagers. They're teenagers now, but in the future, they have powers and they will try to destroy me. This guy sounds insane. Like, honestly insane. I will not give up everything I've built and have my life cut short. All of his lines sound like they were dubbed in with ADR. Like, not a single one of them has sounded normal. I don't know who this actor is, but he's not doing a good job. Um, but what about the visions? How am I seeing that stuff? Sometimes when we experience trauma, it can have a lasting effect. This isn't trauma. I knew he was going to die. Ma'am, I don't think the optometrist is going to help you with that. I think that's the wrong doctor. I will be recommending that you take a week off. Get some rest. Watch old movies. 
I am in the presence of the spirit of Christmas yet to come. Oh my God. Watch old movies. So let's watch a movie that's clearly about the past, present, and future. <laughs> Just to really hammer it home metaphorically in the movie so we know that she's seeing the future, you know? Like, you know, next we should watch Groundhog Day. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, Scrooge, but you can't change anything. That is not how the movie ends, Cassie, okay? You are just wrong, sorry. <gasps> that is a strong f bird. I've seen a lot of birds fly into a lot of windows and the glass is never shat. Oh, it's starting over. It's gonna fly into her apartment now. <gasps> oh, how nice of it to just fly back out the window. Smartest pigeon in the world. Guess he didn't die after all. Oh my god, who wrote these lines? <laughs> no, close it again. So that f will definitely fly into it next time. Come on, guys, this way. Oh, that girl, she's important. That girl's also important. Oh, she is seeing the future now. She's seeing the future. I'm ready. For, I'm ready for it just to happen now. I get it. Is this real? <laughs> Oh, God. Are you okay, dear? She's like, oh, girl, get off my f***ing train. Oh, my God. This is the train to Mount Vernon. What kind of psychopath sits immediately next to somebody when there are open seats on the train? That is absolute ridiculous behavior. Yeah, don't leave them, girl. They need you. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Get up. Me? Go. Get off. You're going to die if you stay here. Get up. Are you threatening us? Oh, get up. Hey, give me that back. Hey. Well, I love how all the girls kind of listen to her, honestly. It's kind of, that's the least realistic thing. This would never happen. Um, what exactly is this emergency? Whoa. This woman's trying to abduct us. What? Oh, God, no, no, no. That's, shh, that's, shh. <laughs> She's like, shh, shh, That's your emergency. That. Well, we got out of the train and now he's crawling towards them. We don't have tickets for this train. That's your biggest concern? Maybe don't yell that out loud. Oh, the cop is here. For some reason, the cops are really involved. I don't know why. Am I on the right train? Oh. I don't know, man. Oh my God, dude. Man, just have faith in yourself. Stop asking her. <laughs> Did they just take out the train conductor? Why? He took out the train conductor? Are you kidding me? You guys need to call for backup. That will not be necessary as long as you are. Wait, what? No, it's not for no, you to understand. Don't We're worry, being attacked. Worry. You're safe. <laughs> Oh, now she's, oh, she isn't handcuffed yet, thank God. And for some idiotic reason, that guy just attacked the cop that was arresting the girl that was helping the three women get away. You'd think he'd let that happen. No, he wants to attack all the cops first. They're the priority, even though they were kind of helping him. Get in. What? Get in. Come on, come on, come on. Move, slide Is she driving? A, is she just abduct the cab? Hey! Just stole the cab. Multiple NYPD officers at Grand Central Terminal this afternoon. That's great. Good. Girl, look at the road. They better lock him up. Right? She is also the same person. She, yeah, it's you. She. I hate it when people drive and, and they're not looking at the road. Okay. Wait. Sorry, no, you can't actually leave because you guys are the only ones that know what actually happened. So now she is abducting them. Okay, well, this is what we're gonna do, okay? We're just gonna like lay low for a little bit and um, I'll figure out how to get out of this. Okay, this is so messy, <laughs> this whole thing. The dialogue is so cringe. I also just don't really feel the stakes like at all yet. The villain doesn't even feel that like threatening to me. Oh, his hair is turning gray. I don't know why, but for some reason it is. I've always wanted to be a Girl Scout. Oh, we went to the woods with them? That's not ter- she just drove this cab to the woods. We went off-roading in a yellow cab. What's the deal with ceiling guy? I told you, I don't know. I've never seen him before. How did you know he was coming? Oh my God. How are you, why are you getting annoyed at explaining? She looks so annoyed. Is it just because she hates kids? Like, doesn't really make sense. You flipped me off. It's not really narrowing it down much. You guys, this is so freaky. Who are you? What is going on? Oh my God. This whole thing is painful. <laughs> ah, who wrote this shit? Oh my God. I mean, oh, what the hell? See, 
you didn't see that coming? Dude, if I was one of these kids, I'd be like, oh, you know all of us and you hunted us all down and set up this elaborate ruse to get us to go with you. I would not be trusting her because this is just written in such a suspicious, sketchy way. I'm just saying it was more of a crawl. It was like a, a spider person. Oh, she's putting something together now. I'm gonna be back in a f few hours. You're gonna leave him here in the woods? What? Cassie. Okay. Can we trust you? Three hours, okay? Can we trust you? Wait, answer my question. I need to know if you think we can trust you. <laughs> Oh, is there a photo of the guy in it? Oh my god. Good thing he posed for the photo. We're in the middle of nowhere. No one's gonna track us down here. Just don't make eye contact. <gasps> I hope I have cherry pie. The pacing of this movie is so awkward. Like, I feel like there's so many, it, it just feels slow, but it also feels like there's no tension in a lot of the dialogue or the dialogue is just awkward and weird. And I don't really care about any of these characters yet. So it's kind of like hard to care about what's happening. Julia, tell me you agree that we should get dessert. Yeah, but whatever you guys are arguing about, I'm sure you're both making really good points. Oh, who's, oh, she's looking at the dudes. It's just a little. Girls feared an abduct. He's reading the article about them right now. Oh my God. Wait, didn't this happen today? How fast does the press work? This happened today. And it's already been printed and disseminated. This makes no sense. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. He's here so fast. Again, there he goes, knocking other people out first. Oh. Okay, so the time has got to reset because Julia looks dead. Oh, she's in the woods again. Girl, go quick. You have like one, op one shot, one opportunity. Guys, 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 we have to go, we have to go. Oh, he beat her here. Is he just, is she gonna drive the cab into the diner and then kill a bunch of other people? Yeah. Leave everything, run! Come on, let's go, let's go! Oh, that is the weakest running I've ever seen. Forget your skateboard! I don't think the owner of the diner is gonna be too thrilled with that. She's an abductor, now destruction of property, reckless endangerment with a vehicle. The charges are just racking up. Cassandra Webb, daughter of Constance Webb, deceased. Did you say Webb? Oh, I didn't realize her last name was actually Webb. That's kind of hilarious. That's a little on the nose, <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> but you can offset cardiac arrest with CPR. Oh, she's gonna teach him how to do CPR. You lock your elbows. And you go, staying alive, ha, 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 ha. Great, nice, Maddie. Is this supposed to be funny? Like, I don't, d it, uh, so many of the lines are just so cringy. Like, I think they were written to be like, oh, that's their, they don't get along yet. Like, isn't that funny? They're so quirky. I'm like, I just, uh, it's just cringy. I've never said this before in my entire life, but you're a good teacher. I've never said this before to like anybody ever, because that would require a compliment. Like what? I'll be gone a week. I don't want to leave them, but he's out there looking for them and they're relying on me and I don't know how else to protect them. Okay. We, we just brought Ben into this. We roped him in. She's still taking the cab. It's the most obvious vehicle ever, especially with the huge dent on the front of it. Oh, cut to Peru. Yeah, we don't need to see that traffic at JFK, okay? Ain't nobody need that. Man, you know, if we could have just raised the baby here, maybe this would have been a lot better for her. She would just understand where she came from and everything about her. Oh my God, look at her. She is an explorer. You have come back looking for answers. Oh, hi dude. You look a little different. Do you trust me? I'm not really sure at this point I have a choice. Oh, he's gonna push her in. You could just walk away. Your thread did not start when you were born. Oh, now she's seeing when she was in her mom's belly. Las arañas could not stand by. We tried to see. <laughs> I can't, I don't need to see that jumping tree shot again. It's so goofy looking. 
<laughs> Honestly, if the whole point of showing her this is just showing the fact that the baby survived by like her mom being bit by the spider and so there's a piece of the venom in her, like we didn't really need to see everything all over again. He could have just told her. Test results came back. Oh. I'm sorry, sorry to tell you that your baby has myasthenia gravis. Huh? It's a, it's a genetic it's neuromuscular a disorder. Oh, you would have, the venom. Do you, Do you need a tissue? No, no, I need a cure. Oh, so that's why she went down. Okay, get a cure for her kid. All right. I never knew I was sick. The spider venom did, did have healing properties. Oh, but she's going to see each other now. <laughs> wow, it's crazy how we're hugging like this in the time web realm. If you master your power, you can use the web to be in more than one place at the same time. And when you take on the responsibility, great power will come. She's like, I'm still confused. She's like, that did not clear anything up. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I just, guys, either I paid uh, myself or yeah. my water broke. Oh no, that's bad timing. Uh, get in the car. What? We don't need the girls to come. If the girls just stayed in the house, they'll be fucking fine. Why are we making dumb decisions like this? This is so dumb. Oh, the camera caught him. Oh my God, yes it, if we just kept him in the house, it would have been fine. It was just being dumb for no reason, making him leave the house. They would have been fine if they just stayed in the house. <laughs> oh, thank God, she's back from Peru. The baby Oh, she's seeing what happened. Yeah, you can be in two places at once. Just try it. Maybe she physically, maybe she has to physically put her body there. Mentally, she can only be in two places at once. Sorry, guys. Oh, she's going to steal the <laughs> She's stealing the ambulance. She's just racking up the crimes, the felonies. She just, she just yeeted herself through a Calvin Klein billboard, just trusting the one vision she had that she was gonna be so accurate, she was gonna knock the one guy out but not hit anybody else. Get down. Oh, we're gonna go to the place that's packed with fireworks and blow it up or something? I have a code 30, PD 36307, requesting airlift support, Dockside, Queens. Copy that. <sighs> a, great, airlift support, yeah, well, that's it. All right, no clarification needed. We'll send a helicopter right now. Whatever happens, I promise I'm going to protect you guys. We'll protect each other. No, we're in this together. Okay, great, I don't care, move on. <laughs> just, just go do with the thing. <laughs> okay, we are still not doing a high five. Okay, no one cares, Maddie. <laughs> I feel my brain melting. Put them in as many crates as you can. You might want to move really f fast because it's not like you have any idea when the fireworks are all going to go off. Dead end! <laughs> How is she just so good at this? Even, even with the fact that she's seen everything once, she's too good at this. She gets one shot, one opportunity. This is everything you ever wanted. Okay, sorry, <laughs> done. One moment, <laughs> could you capture it? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I knew, I knew she had a plan. Yeah, she had a plan. Yeah, what are these lines? Anya, stop. Anya, stop running when, when she tells you to stop. Oh, shield, she's using it as a shield. <laughs> Use the web. Oh, he's coming. Man, the Pepsi placement. I wonder how much Pepsi paid for this movie, y'all. There's a lot of Pepsi placement. Julia, get down! Thank God she can hear. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Over here, asshole! Maddie. She's skateboarding on the shield. Oh, she, how did she do that? She's a stunt professional. She just caught herself on that bar. And when you take on the response. Oh, she's gonna be in more places, <laughs> more than one place at a time. Oh my God. Oh my God. Julia, I got you. He's just gonna watch. 
Oh. The S is gonna fall. Is she gonna try to bait him and lead him there? Man, he's climbing so carefully for a man who can just fly through the air like easily. Good thing he sucks at punching, apparently. He can't even hit her. You've been trying to change your future. But the girls were never your future. I'm your future. I was. Oh my god, the f I can't talk it! No! No! Who chose to punch it like that? I can't! Oh my god, it's so bad! I was. No! Okay, bye, dude. Whatever. I don't care. She'll be fine. She's been in this river before. They're gonna, they're gonna do CPR on her, huh? All three of them. They're gonna have to do CPR on her. Come on, guys, come on! Hey, keep going, we don't stop. Uh-huh, yep, you will, you'll get her, don't worry. It'll happen. <gasps> oh my god! Is she blind? Did the fireworks blind her? Yeah, she did go blind, damn. Are you all immediate family? Yes, they're all mine. She's like, yeah, no, <laughs> but I don't care. <laughs> I don't get paid enough. <laughs> she lose the ability to walk too from the accident? She's partially paralyzed too. I can see you. Standing up for what you believe. Oh, somehow they're gonna become spider women. And you know the best thing about the future. It hasn't happened yet. There's no post credit scene. Thank God, I can be done. <laughs> I'm so bummed because this like could have been really good. It's like a unique kind of superhero, the way she has to fight and like with better dialogue and better pacing, maybe more grounded performances that felt like they were actually scared of what was gonna happen. This could have been a lot better. And it sucks like that a superhero movie with such an all-star female cast just sucks. It just sucks, it's so bad. Sorry, I was just looking up the cast. And the guy who played the villain, Tahar Rahim. Oh, he was in Napoleon too. I do remember him now in Napoleon. I think he was better in Napoleon. Um, not a fan of him in this. Wasn't even really scared of him. Why was his hair turning gray the whole movie? Was it just stress? <laughs> the whole like, I don't even know if that was actually him dying or if it was just him being defeated. But that whole like battle sequence was just so cheesy, especially the face off at the very end with Cassie. It was so cheesy. And like, I just don't understand. I guess these girls are going to develop power someday. And I feel like the whole end of this movie was supposed to get you hyped for like the next one that they'd theoretically make when they do have their powers. But like, I'm not interested in seeing that. I don't want that. I don't. Man, this is what one of the first movies in a long time where I just don't really feel like there's a lot of redeemable qualities to it at all. It was just bad. And it sucks because like I actually am a fan of a lot of the actors in the cast, but something was going on with the direction for this because a lot of the acting just felt totally flat. The pacing was so bad. There was so much awkward, poorly written dialogue, a lot of awkward pauses where they're all supposed to be looking at each other and it just cuts the tension, kills it completely. And like, I'm a fan of people like Dakota Johnson and Adam Scott. I'm even a fan of Zoja Mamet. I've seen girls, loved her in that, but it just felt like every single person in this movie just really felt like cardboard. And I don't necessarily blame the actors, I blame the director. It just, I've never seen a movie with such a unique concept that just felt so boring. It was so boring. <laughs> have anything good to say about it. It hurt. This hurt, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes like you see a bad, like cheesy superhero movie that's funny and so it's enjoyable. This was not that. This was just painful. I'm glad I've seen it though so that I could watch it with all of you. I don't really typically enjoy doing bad movie reviews because I feel like I'm just dwelling on negative stuff, but I really don't see a redeemable quality in this movie. I mean, even the CGI was horrible. The constant product placement for Pepsi was just so over the top and obvious. There were certain sequences that were repeated that just added time onto the movie and cut tension completely that we just didn't need, like getting certain expositional moments twice just felt a little over the top. And yeah, I just felt like there were no stakes involved in any of the conversations. Like even when we were facing off in the end, the stakes didn't even really feel grounded. I just didn't feel like I cared about 
any of these characters and not because they were like super unlikable or anything like that. It just felt like they didn't care half the time or really were scared for their lives most of the time. And the villain, like he just didn't even seem that scary or threatening to me, to be honest. Not, not good. <laughs> not good. But I'm glad that I watched it and I understand what all the fuss was about. Um, definitely disappointing. I really wish that this movie had done better because again, I do really like a lot of the actors in this cast and I think it would have been cool for a movie like this to do well, but it, it was just, it's just rough. I was just looking up, will there be a Madam Web 2? Because you can tell with the end of this movie that that is exactly what they're setting up for is like, how are these girls going to get their powers? And they're going to become this badass superhero team and like, just you wait, it's coming. And I look it up and it's like, it doesn't have an official release date. Basically the status is kind of up in the air. It's neither been confirmed nor canceled at this time. So I guess we'll see. I feel like they shouldn't do it personally. <laughs> I feel like they shouldn't, but maybe they will. I don't know. We'll see. You know, maybe they could do better with the next one if they do make it another one. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching this with me despite the pain that it, it put me through. And um, no offense if you liked this movie. I do believe that there's room for all opinions when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like I have liked a lot of movies that people don't like and I've hated movies that people have loved. I think at the end of the day, art is subjective. So if you like this movie, don't take it personally that I didn't. I, I found it painful, but um, no shade to you if you love it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future. Or maybe I can just be like Madam Web and if I don't like the movie, just go back in time and not watch it again. Of course, let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments down below, as well as anything else you might like me to check out next, and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.